Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. We begin tonight with that second shutdown for parts of New York City. Starting tomorrow, restrictions will be reinstated in COVID hotspots in Brooklyn and in Queens. Schools are going remote, non-essential businesses are closing, mass gatherings are banned, and restaurants will be reduced to takeout only. And while Mayor de Blasio is vowing stricter enforcement, the rules are being met with some anger. CBS 2's Ali Bauman is live for us in Kensington, Brooklyn, with the story tonight and anticipation. Ali. Well, Dana, in addition to schools, all non-essential businesses must close and houses of worship have limited capacity for at least two weeks starting tomorrow in these so-called red zones, such as here in Kensington, where the COVID positivity rate is above 3%. Hundreds of members of Brooklyn's Orthodox community set their face masks on fire Tuesday night. Several perceived journalists were beaten, including 34-year-old Barish Getz, who was hospitalized. The protest in response to Governor Cuomo's new lockdown rules limiting the number of people allowed in houses of worship. To the extent there are communities that are upset, that's because they hadn't been following the original rules. And if we had enforced the first rule, we wouldn't be here in the first place. After months of handing out masks instead of summonses, Mayor de Blasio is now siding with the governor to have tougher enforcement for COVID hot zones in Brooklyn and Queens. The fines for mass gatherings in violation of state rules will be up to $15,000 a day. The fines for not wearing face coverings or not maintaining social, social distancing can be as high as $1,000 a day. I think the governor and the mayor both know this is not the first time they've made decisions that, they've, that they have the ability to look back on and say, maybe we went a little too far. City Councilman Kalman Yeager is one of four elected officials calling to change the rules for attendance in churches and synagogues so the capacity can vary with building size. For example, St. Athanasius in Bensonhurst usually seats 700, but since it's in a red zone, they will only be allowed to seat 10. Essential services. This is essential for the life of people. As for restaurants, just as indoor dining was coming back, those in the red zone have to return to takeout service only. Restaurants in the orange zone can do outdoor dining, but with a max of four people per table. Very hard right now. We've got to keep it workers, paying rent, all that stuff keep going. City Hall says the NYPD will be enforcing these new rules. When asked if that includes for restaurants and houses of worship, the mayor's office said, quote, we've done it before, we will do it again. We're live in Kensington, Brooklyn. Allie Bauman, CBS2 News. Allie, thank you. We have maps with the zones deline delineated as well as all of the restrictions on our website that go into effect tomorrow in parts of the city. You can find that information on our website, cbsnewyork.com.